When it comes to the business community, and that's foreign direct investors as well as indigenous companies, they look at a number of things when they decide when they're, or where they're going to put their money and where they're going to invest. So, for example, cost of doing business is very important. Access to talent is really important. But infrastructure is hugely important. And all the utilities, whether it's energy or whether it's water, absolutely key components. When they think about the day-to-day -day operations of their businesses, business continuity without disruption, um, health and safety of their workers and whether they can expand in the future. So those are hugely influential in a, in a company deciding to put money into a particular area. So if Northern Ireland hasn't invested in water, and we haven't, um, and we have to think about how do we get that sustainable funding model for the future, because this is a problem that needs to be addressed. seen already, for example, in the city centre, we can't have new, new connections. So there's big backlogs now in terms of people that had wanted planning permission, can't locate in a certain area because infrastructure simply is not there. So there's going to be a backlog. We're not going to have the investment we need. We're not going to have the jobs created. And it's a self-fulfilling thing. Unless it is addressed, we're going to run into huge problems. And we're already there. So we're already seeing um, investment not flowing as it should. And we'll only get worse course. Well, it's my understanding that Northern Ireland Water are open to any sustainable funding model. So let's just have a conversation about what does work. As I say, we talk now about building back better after COVID. If we're genuine about that, well, then this does have to be at the top of the executive's agenda.